Welcome, Red Warrior. Yo, what is up, everyone? It is Saturday. Just got a phone call from GameStop that my Amiibos, the Monster Hunter Amiibos that was supposed to come out last week with the Monster Hunter Rise game, has finally come out. I don't know if this video is ever going to be used. I'm recording it. If I feel like the unboxing is just a great video overall, I'll go ahead and upload it and all that good stuff. Let's go to GameStop and pick up my Amiibos. All right. Well, bad news. GameStop had two of the three Amiibos, and it looks like the third Amiibo is coming out next Friday. April 9th. The... the <laughs> Ah, uh, this video was this amiibo unboxing. Sorry for the light. There, there's a sun is crazy. It's wilding out today. <sighs> we were supposed to have these amiibo unboxings on March 26, and now this this video that's been filmed since April 3rd is gonna be pushed to April 9th. This this is frustrating. So I will see you guys. Uh, well, I could have just moved it here. I'll see you guys literally next week if GameStop has my amiibo. This is frustrating. I did get $5 off each Amiibo, though, due to the GameStop delays. So that was pretty nice, but it ruined my whole video and still ruining my whole video <laughs> since I got to push this video out a whole nother week. Dude, so frustrating. I will see you guys in the next clip, or I guess I'll see you next week. Well, obviously, you're going to see videos before this video comes out, but... I'm talking to this individual camera right here, you watching the video. I'm going to be seeing you next week. Peace. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. Uh, I'm right here editing a video right now that's coming out whenever it's coming out. It's a pretty cool video. Uh, but basically, GameStop has called me while I was editing, and apparently the final Amiibo is ready to get picked up. I hope it's the right amiibo. Dude, this GameStop Monster Hunter journey has been very much interesting. I uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe this journey finally does come to an end. I don't know. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. Uh, hopefully I can get there before they closed. And uh, it should be interesting. And then we'll unbox those guys over there. If you can see, I got both of them over there, so. Yeah, hopefully I get the $5 discount again, too. All right, let's head to GameStop. All right, so here we are. We're in the next day, actually. So we got more vlogging content. I went to GameStop last night, and by the time I got there, they were closed. These Amiibos are, like, so hard to get, man. They're making me have so many issues with GameStop. I've had to go to GameStop multiple times to get all the amiibos got two out of the three now we're going back to the final one these amiibos are causing so many issues over here dude i am annoyed by these amiibos i don't even know if this video is coming out if this video comes out hopefully people like this video i don't know but you're getting a lot of vlogging in this video so let's go ahead and get ready to get to gamestop and pick up the final amiibo hopefully no drama happens just like this entire vlog where we are trying to get this amiibo and then just so much continues just to happen badness all that good stuff let's head to gamestop wish us luck let's hope they didn't sell my amiibo for whatever reason you cannot make this up gamestop's power was out today so they closed these amiibos are cursed oh my gosh I just want I just want to get the amiibos and I, I just want to unbox them and I want to be done with them I want to be done these, these monster hunter amiibos fam they, they, they're getting on my nerves <laughs> I am definitely releasing this now just because of the amount of drama that has happened with these amiibos it's if you haven't seen our first video on like monster hunter rise ultimate unboxing that happened you should definitely watch that because you could get a better idea of the frustration that is happening right now into this video it's like a part two of that i am so frustrated so tomorrow i'm gonna have to pick up the amiibos it's so annoying all right we're time it's time to do it again we're going to try to go to gamestop i got a good feeling on this nothing bad's gonna happen they're gonna have my amiibo everything's gonna be fine i hope 
this is what, like day five trying to get these amiibos. <laughs> Luckily we have two of the three, which they're, they're over there. You can't see in this angle. So we just gotta get this final one and then I can unbox them. Please GameStop, no issues. Please, no more issues. I, I this, this has been a journey. This is an interesting vlog. There's gonna, I don't know how long these clips are. Don't know how long it's just me be like screaming at GameStop, be like, ah! But here we are. So let's go ahead to GameStop. Let's, fingers crossed, everything turns out well. No power outages again, like yesterday. Still can't believe that happened. What are the chances of a power outage happening? That's just like, fam, really? These amiibos, man, they're cursed. Let's head to GameStop. We're home. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In my mind, that was funny, but that just came off really creepy. We got the Amiibos. All three are finally here in my hands. We're gonna unbox them in just a second. I wanna quickly address, this video makes me like come across as a big GameStop hater. I love GameStop. I love the employees at the GameStop that I was shopping at today. They did nothing wrong. They tried their best to help with the situation that was going on. Nothing bad happened. Basically, a lot of delays happened. They made up for it. They gave me $5 off each Amiibo and all that. I just want to quickly address that. I also want to say, I did pick up Tetris 99. We're not unboxing this it's here today. But I did get it. I just wanted to, to flex. I think this is going to be a rare Switch title. I'm just letting you guys know now. Definitely be on the lookout for that title if you have the funds. It's $30. And it comes with a one-year Nintendo Switch. Anyways... I think I've been talking too much. Let's get right into the unboxing. Okay, so here we are. We got the first Monster Hunter Amiibo. This is the one I've been waiting on to do the unboxing. It's the dog, uh, Palamute? Mute? Palamute? I, I so am butchering these names today. I apologize to any Monster Hunter fans that I am really making mad. Uh, but I'm excited. I actually named this thing after my grandpa's dog whose name is Charlie and I made it look like the dog Charlie so in my eyes this is the Charlie amiibo even though the color is nothing like the dog Charlie all right let's get this out of the way box one done so here we go these things get really loud when you open these things sometimes let's see if this is a loud one. Oh, actually not that loud the we did the Smash Brother ones on the uh, the first part, I guess, to this whole Monster Hunter trilogy that I'm doing, or trilogy, <laughs> well, I guess since there's a video review coming out, the trilogy of Monster Hunter Rise. It's like the Blitz Games trilogy. Shout out to Jay Matthew. So here we are, guys. Actually, not a bad amiibo. I am a big fan of this. The quality is really good. One of these things about these amiibos, though, that I don't like that they did, they are $20. This one was a $20 amiibo. The quality's great, but I don't see anything that speaks twenty dollars. Uh, maybe if you guys own this amiibo and you're like, I mean, you see, I own over eighty amiibos over there. Do you guys think this was worth twenty dollars? I don't see any like groundbreaking improvements with the amiibo quality. It looks like just a regular sixteen dollar amiibo. The the big one that we're opening up was twenty five, and I can understand why that one was twenty five because it's a it's a big one. So uh, yeah, here's a very good close up of the amiibo, and uh, yeah, I, I like it though. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm sounding like this was a waste of twenty dollars. It was not. I am very much happy with paying for this as a big amiibo guy myself. Absolutely love it. Let's head on to the next amiibo. Here we are. We got the. Palico? Is, oh man, I'm, I am so sorry. I named this thing after my neighbor's dog, Boots. And I made it look like Boots, the cat. So uh, let's go ahead and, oh wow, this was, wait, was this already open? That came off way too easy. I don't, I don't know. Let's take this out. That was easy. Put the box over there. Are we gonna have another loud amiibo with these little, what, what would you call these things that are holding the amiibos? Okay, it wasn't loud. All right, let's get this out. Here we go, you know. Uh, again, this is another $20 Monster Hunter amiibo. I don't see why, I really don't. Gonna be honest, I am not a fan of paying $20 for these. I still like owning these amiibos. I, I know there's a whole nother wave coming up 
very soon at GameStop. Another with the Monster Hunter stories. There, uh, there's three more Monster Hunter amiibos coming out with that. I don't know if I'm gonna pick those up, especially if they are twenty dollars again. I don't know. I don't. I am not happy with paying that much for amiibos. If I'm being honest, and uh, with one like this, this this is not twenty dollars quality. It looks like it's. To be honest with you, it looks like a normal amiibo. If I'm being if I'm being real, like it, it looks like a normal. I would say this is a twelve ninety nine amiibo. That's my thoughts. Here's uh, the dog to uh, compare the size if anyone was interested in that. Uh, but yeah, overall, I don't know how I feel about the, this. Moving on to the next amiibo. All right, here it is. This is probably the one that a lot of people want me to unbox first, because this is the this is the, the big one, big one, big guy, Magna Molia. Magna Molio. I got that. It has to be right. Now, that I'm pretty confident. Magna Molio. There it is. All right, let's get this one open. So, this one was $25, and this is definitely worth $25. I believe the Guardian Amiibo for Breath of the Wild was over $30. So, I was kind of thinking this one would be a similar situation, but, uh, ow, just hurt my finger. But no, this is $25, and uh, this one's definitely worth it for the game, too, if you are a, if you ever use the Amiibos for games. This one's going to be definitely very valuable for, in terms of the game, because you get to unlock this guy's armor, and he's the, he's the boss of Monster Hunter Rise, like, he's the, he's the big guy, you know, he's the, I guess you could say the final boss of Monster Hunter Rise, in terms of the storyline of this game. So let's see how out, oh, okay. Okay, again, that was not loud. Uh, looking at this, this thing is huge. I, I don't. I wish I had the Guardian amiibo. I don't own the Guardian amiibo. I will one day get that amiibo if I can find it for the right price. Uh, that's a lot of issues with some of the Breath of the Wild. I can't get this thing out. Okay, there we go. Got it out. That was a little bit scary. They, they had that guy in there. Really good. Okay, so here we are with the Magma Magnamolia Amiibo. I wish I had the Guardian Amiibo to compare the size. This thing is awesome, dude. Absolutely awesome. You can add you can, so much detail. Oh my god. This is beautiful. I absolutely love this Amiibo. I'm not going to be able to put it on the shelf because of how big this one is. Uh, probably not going to put these guys on the shelf either because I want these ones to be together because it's going to be weird if I have two Monster Hunter Amiibos without the, you know, the, the big guy, the, the one that's like the main Amiibo out of the whole line. So yeah, guys, uh, let's jump back right into our normal camera. All right, guys, well, we've reached the end of the video. What did you think of the Amiibos? Personally, I am a very big fan of this one. I paid $25. That's what the retail price of this one was. This one, I can agree, is $25 value. I definitely agree with that. However, this one and this, this guy right here, the, uh, what was the dog? I'm, I'm used to my, uh, my character names that I have in the Monster Hunter Rise game. These guys, now, not feeling it. I'm sorry, these were not worth $20. I don't know why these were $4 more than the typical Amiibo price, which is $15.99. Um, if any Capcom people are watching the video, if you could let me know why, <laughs> I know they're not watching the video. I, I do want to know why these are more pricey. They're probably these amiibos are probably going to be worth a lot because they were GameStop exclusive. Except uh, this guy right here. If you get the collector's edition of the game, this came with it. But uh, if you didn't buy the collector's edition, you wanted to buy that amiibo separately. All that was GameStop exclusive. So, I just want to make sure one last time, no hate towards GameStop. I love shopping at you guys at GameStop. This one was definitely annoying, though, since the, these Amiibos were supposed to come out on March 26th. It is April 8th, and now I got all my Amiibos, so it it is what it is. But, again, no hate to the employees. The employees, they couldn't do anything. I don't, yeah, they can't do anything. They, they, did, they gave me $5 off, so, yeah. 
Anyways, guys, I appreciate all of you watching. I've been talking for way too much. Make sure to backslash that subscribe button. Like the video. Check out my Discord channel or server. <laughs> Check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.